All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the side lens out along with the reflector. Now, if you're keeping all your screws together, remember these ones are longer than the other ones that you just took out. Take your amber lens out. Your side marker lens reflector out. Take this Phillips screw out right here. This is one of the ones that's holding your projector housing in. Now, the best way to do this is to drill a hole right here on the reflector. And you're actually gonna stick your screwdriver inside of it and unscrew the Phillips screw right in here. It's below this ball joint housing. Some people tell you to take a screwdriver and pop the ball joint out of this plastic housing. And when I did that, I actually snapped my projector housing in half in two different spots, right here and right here. Ended up having to glue it together. Thankfully, it's holding so far, but the best way to do it, I believe, is to drill a hole right here, stick your screwdriver in it, and undo the actual housing. Um, and when you're dr where you're drilling the hole at, you actually can't see when your lens is on top of it. it ends up hiding it. So there's nothing that you can see when the lens is over it. And I did take a little chip out of it, but like I said, you can't see that anyway. So it's okay if you scratch it up a little bit or take a little chip out. And with my screwdriver, I started, up, started off with an eighth inch bit for a pilot hole and then I stepped up to a quarter inch bit for my actual screwdriver. So we are going to take our screwdriver take that screw out These guys are the longer style screws as well. Next, we're going to undo the four screws that are holding your projector in. You can set these aside somewhere else because you're not going to be using them. We're going to use the screws supplied in the retrofit source kit. Flip it over. The whole reason why we're doing this is because the projector is too large to take out of the back. It does not fit. So, what we're going to do next is take your 8mm socket and loosen your two adjustment bolts. Flip it back over. And now take out your projector housing and your projector. I'm installing Angel Eyes with my HID kit, so I'm going to take out my projector uh, shroud now. You're going to undo these one. Two, three, four Phillips screws right here. Go ahead and take out your projector shroud. Got this little uh, clip holding it in right here in the corner really being held in by the glue is what's actually holding it up. Try to be 
as gentle as possible. Okay, so this is the XP Halo that comes in the kit that the retrofit source gives you. So we're going to go with a 3 16th drill bit. And try to be very, very careful when you're drilling this hole because all of this on the outside can be seen on the outside of your headlight. So you want to be very careful when you're drilling this hole. Center it up as best as possible. Keep your drill head from scratching up against the um, bottom of this piece here and start real slow. Okay, here we go. So, on the Halo, I actually like to use both epoxy and super glue. Um, the super glue lets it set up quickly, and then the epoxy uh, takes a real strong hold after it sits there for a good bit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some epoxy. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some super glue. Very carefully. Center it up as best as possible. Try not to let it move because it will smear. And we're just going to let that set up overnight. 